Good morning and welcome back to another video and today is another day of the Zero to Gold Cap Challenge. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Okay, so today we are going to be going over reputations because mainly we need flying and basically that we've actually come up with a nice little way in order to get hold of the reputation required for Waveblade Anna Cohen and the Rust Bolt Resistance. Now this has been covered by a couple of other tubers and at this end at the end of the day I, I didn't realise this was actually a thing but um, but I've had to actually go with battle pets. Yes, this is a battle pet daily, so to speak. So with Mechagon, all you're going to be needing to do is have the waypoints in order to actually press make a macro up. So what you actually do to find all of the battle pets is by number one, making sure that you have all of the waypoint commands for all of the different types of guys. So like all of the legendary battle pets that you can do on the daily. So that would be like Gnome Feaster, Golden Bot, and CK9, that type of stuff. And when it comes to Najatar, we have the ones like Prince Wiggletail, uh, the Chomp, Silence, and all of that. So I macroed these, so whenever I press them, they now come up on my screen. So all I have to do is fly over to these locations and take out all of these guys. Now that being said, what type of battle pet team are you going to be wanting to do? Well, the battle pet team that you're going to need is Bone Shard for number one, Icky for number two, and the Zandalari Ankle Biter. Basically, you start off the battle with Blistering Cold, and then you just make sure that you keep that up, along with using Chop in between the attacks. The, after Bone Shard has died, who does die quite a lot because all you're really wanting to do is pull off your blistering cold. The is you'll be wanting to bring out Icky next for using just pure Black Claw. Black Claw is an amazing hit, it does a lot of damage and basically kills most of the actual battle pet bosses. Now on the off chance that Icky does die, you just need to summon your Zandalari Ankle Biter and just use Bite and that will do pretty much the same as the Icky attack for Black Claw. I know I don't really know that much about battle pets, but I know that this team is is great in obviously ascending order for destroying them, for destroying all of these legendary pets in Najatar and Mechagon. There are only two that you really do struggle with killing, so I've just removed them from the macro because at the end of the day, I'm not going to be bothering by switching out another load of team. The team actually cost me about 12,000 gold to get to buy all of them at level 25. And that is because Bone Shards you get from ICC, Icky, I can't remember where you get Icky from, but the Zandalari Ankle Buyer you get from the Isle of Giants farm. Now, these ones are pretty damn good because now all we have to do is run over to these different areas and do the battle pet fight, so to speak. Now this can be done on the daily, and within Najatar, if you do the ones in Najatar, that means that you're going to get 250 rep for every battle pet boss you kill. Now let's actually show this into perspective. So we're going to be starting the fight off. And the idea is start off with Blistering Cold. Now on Mechagon, Bone Shard actually does a bit of extra additional damage when it comes to things. So I use number three, which is his Ice Spike, because it has an uptick in damage. Now Bone Shard dies, and he now resurrects and does his attack, so to speak. And the chances of him actually surviving the next attack is uh, relatively low, so to speak, because for obvious reasons, he probably will die. And that being the case, Bone Shard is now dead. What we're going to want to do now is summon out Icky to take out the boss. And you just use Black Claw, which is number two. And let Icky just own the hell out of this thing, so to speak. So, pretty much it's pretty damn easy in what you have to do for this. It's going to be taking out this boss pretty damn easily. But just bear in mind, when it comes to Mechagon, these bosses do come back to life every now and then. Uh, this is why you've got the ankle buyer, as Icky has now died. 
And now, obviously, we've still got our ankle biter. We've completed the the world quest for this, apparently. We, we also completed the world quest, which has rewarded us with 75 Rust Bolt resistance. And on the daily, so on the daily kills, you will get like a little quest item in, in which you give in and that will and that will reward you with a load of reputation going forward now i'm going to be doing this on the daily just by taking out all of the legendary bosses as yesterday we gained like near on 3000 reputation just by doing the pet battles overall and that means within the week we will be have our flying for bfa which then we can get into our herbalism so that being the case, that is the plan going forward. We're just gonna do this on the daily, do the daily battle pets and the world quests to get our rep up. And that is an insane amount of reputation because you're taking on loads of these different ones. So, and obviously in Najatai you have 10 ton of these different types of, of mobs and all that jazz. So at the end of the day, you're gonna get quite a lot. So at the end of the day, it's like 250 reputation per boss per day. And that means you're gonna get ten, a 10 ton of reputation pretty damn fast. I gained near on 3000 reputation in like basically an hour of just running around with my, with my battle pets and just taking these out. This is a great way in order to fast track your reputation if you don't have yet have flying. And I will be implementing this to actually get my flying uh, overall so then we can get back to some good old gold farming. To just clarify something, I spent like 200,000 gold uh, yesterday or the, uh, the other evening, so to speak, after our last update video, before the top five uh, fishing farms for 8.3. That means that we are currently going to be receiving quite a bit because we've actually spent a lot of our gold. So at this moment in time, we are sat in our bags of 7,000 gold. Uh, yeah, I invested it all in the Silas proc, which uh, should pay off pretty damn awesome. If you haven't checked out this uh, Samadam's setup guide for printing gold with alchemy, then I would highly suggest looking it up and seeing if you can make a a, a load of gold back with the proc rate for Silas. Now, aside from that, there's a load of multi farmers, but uh, aside from that, the gold for the day is 58,283 gold. The things that are of note are an uncanny combatant satin cloak of the Peerless for 1,384 gold. The next thing of note is an uncanny combatant satin boots for 1,916 gold. The other one is Baked Port Tato for 30 of those for 1,238 gold. The Biltong, 56 of that for 2,396. Kebab is 20 for 2,106 gold. And we also sold a Highborn Compendium of Sundering for 6,697 gold. Along with High Mall Raw Gold from one of our characters, G. And that is 4,700 gold. We basically are running high more uh, at this moment in time. So we've just brought that gold back in. Uh, I did high more yesterday for raw gold farming. And it's pretty damn good. <laughs> so we'll add that on right there. So, so that being the case, let's get into the next one. Which is Potion of Focused Resolve. 20 of that for 4,752 gold along with the Highborn Compendium of Storms for 6,327 gold, the 55 of the Potions of Unbridled Fury for 9,361 gold, Enchant Weapon Torrent of Elements, 10 of these for 2,915 gold, and along with that, Highborn Compendium of Storms was 6,327 gold, with Highborn Compendium of Swirling Tides at 3,622 gold. Aside from that, the rest of it's all shirts and loads of other stuff, so we'll pull in all of that gold, and we're definitely going to get all of this gold back, just, just by the way. Uh, I know it's 
we we were at like like nearly six hundred thousand gold and we've just spent all of it uh this is all for investments so to speak so now we can get into back into our farming and all that jazz so just need to get that rep up and then we should be good to go for doing a load of xenanthid farming and osmanite and, and then we can craft that into different things so currently we are now back at 63 uh, 65,354 gold but I, I will lie, I did send over like 17,000 gold to Corthana, so she's got a decent amount as well. So at the end of the day, it's about 80,000 in our bag, so I'll send that over in a minute. But aside from that, guys, that's basically all I wanted to talk about. That reputation gain thing for the battle pets is absolutely insane. Uh, I just wanted to clarify it today, and on the daily throughout this week, we should be revered with Rust Bowl and Wave Blade. So really not too worried over all right there now aside from that that is basically all i have to say for the day take it easy and i'll see you tomorrow